there's been a pattern of inappropriate, abusive, and retaliatory behavior that, that resurfaces time and time again. Cincinnati Mayor John Cranley declined to answer our questions today, but took to 700 WLW Radio to blast manager Harry Black. Cranley claims Black called him three weeks ago and threatened to oppose economic development projects in the city. And he seemed, and he said explicitly, he would do it not out of what's in the right interest of the city, but to, as payback to um, feeling mistreated by me or whoever. Cranley also said the city manager asked top city leaders to swear oaths of loyalty to Black. Courageously, a few uh, high-level city uh, employees refused to take that oath and have hired personal attorneys. We have not independently verified Cranley's accusations. The mayor's comments followed a special session of council where city leaders agreed to pay Black $174,000 or eight months salary if he chooses to leave his post. I, I do understand the juiciness of this story. But Councilman P.G. Sittenfeld says he would prefer to pay more attention to getting work done. But if you are a you know regular person following along at home, paying your taxes, raising your family, you're mostly thinking, what are they doing down there? Councilman Wendell Young contends the city's business is getting done, but he also knows there's friction and puts the blame on Cranley. There is a major distraction, and that is the activity of the mayor around his wish to get rid of the city manager and the unprofessional way that he's going about it. That's the circus atmosphere. Now, I asked Terry Black for comment today. He's standing by the message he delivered yesterday, saying he wants to stay in his current role. As for Mayor Cranley, he declined an interview but promised a written statement. Within the past hour or so, his office told me no statement would be coming today. Reporting live downtown, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. All right.